Hey guys, it's me, Ren Kamara, coming to you live from my room. Well, not really live. Anyway, um, so it's been like four months since the case with Hilbert College was dropped or ended and all that great stuff. And I've just been like healing and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm... Uh, about to head to Buffalo State, and I'm actually really excited about that. I'm also really excited for the fact that now that the case is over, I was actually able to do a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do. I made Midwest Fur Fest and had a ton of fun there. I made it to, I was able to work a couple of jobs and get experience. I was actually able to drive around in a car and not have to worry about anything possibly happening to me so there's that there's the fact that I was I've been able to do some repairs on my bike and get it checked out um nobody's vandalized it since I've been at Hilbert I just wanted to address some other problems that Hilbert seems to have had while they talk about diversity they don't really have a large variety of diversity uh, their main goal when they talk about diversity is the fact that they want money. <laughs> when they say diversity, they aren't really trained in that field. They say no hate, but they let me get bullied for a long time. They just didn't know what they were doing. And I finally have pieced together the entire story about what happened to me. So... Apparently in the beginning, I ticked off a student named Mike McFarland. Mike then attacked me on two different, on two separate accounts, trying to prove a point that I was dangerous by attacking my door, pounding on it, and attacking me between classes. Of course, I backed down and didn't do anything, and didn't give him what he wanted. So he spread rumors around. When he spread the rumors around, he ended up, one, defaming me, and two, getting me isolated off from the rest of the students. When that happened, it, it was a mental hit. I was alone most of the time until I found a bunch of people off campus to hang out with. I was actually really happy about being off campus. So I was off campus 24-7. So, in that time frame, he's still going around spouting off all that other stuff. He then comes up to my room and starts attacking me. Like, trying to physically attack me, threatening to slit my throat. Now, this student had already been in trouble for being charged with pedophilia charges. He was a convicted pedophile. Um, so, while well, all of that's going on... Uh, nobody's looking at the fact that this pedophile spreading rumors around about the only person who doesn't stay on campus very much. So, the rumor then spreads to I, or let's see, it was I was a terrorist. It spread to I had a gun in my room and I was planning to attack people, which was not the case. Heavily not the case. I'm very liberal. I actually would love if guns were off the streets, but um, this kid thought it would be a good idea to say I had a gun, and campus security got that uh, sort of message four, five, six times, and they started throwing it out because they knew that he wasn't a credible person. Finally, he gets kicked off the campus before the second semester. The spring semester starts and I return to the school. I had my pants stolen, my bike vandalized again. I was not having a good year. So I'm trying to make it through and survive and uh, somehow he was still placing false reports to the school. Now he's not on campus so where is he getting this viable information from? Turns out it wasn't viable. <laughs> so he uh, 
he starts talking to campus security and getting mad about that and trying to get campus security to get on my case. Finally, after uh, a break that we had, I go home because I needed some time before finals so I could chill, relax, and reboot my brain. I come back and he's placed another false report. Campus security at this point starts getting worried and they go to check my room. They didn't find anything. They wanted to check my bag. They didn't find anything. I tell my parents what's going on and my mom wanted the name of the campus security officer. This officer got really PO'd and he's the one that went to camp or to Hamburg police because he, he was just done with the entire situation and would have preferred for them to handle it. Not realizing that most of Hamburg police are, co are Hilbert College alumni. So I get thrown in jail. Well, I get interrogated for two hours beforehand. They told me that I need to stop using the autistic and gay ploy like it's some sort of act for pity. And uh, they attacked me on a bunch of other things, including saying I might be into bestiality because I'm a furry. So there's that. Um, after that, they stripped me of all my clothes and placed me inside one of the jail cells. No blanket, no clothes, I'm freezing my rear end off. They make me miss my medication, which I'm not supposed to ever miss. They make it so that I physically cannot, like, it, survival was almost zero. I went 24 hours without any meals. After that, I was then arraigned, sent to Erie County, and from there, I got my first meal in 24 hours. Which, it was an awful, awful meal. And it was horrible. And oh my god, I wish I could go back so I wouldn't eat it. But yeah. So from there, I spend two more days in Erie County. Uh, trying to survive, trying to live. It, it's not going well. Nothing is going well. They finally arraigned me in court again and they're trying to raise my bail to 2500 bucks. I'm sorry, I'm a college kid. Do I look like I have that? My parents didn't even have that. So the judge doesn't raise my bail and the next day I get bailed out. On the drive home, because my mom had been posting videos and the links to Mike McFarland's uh, little incident, which check the link in the description. Um, I'm going to post that here so you guys know what's going on, but um, Mike McFarland then contacts my mom on Facebook, threatening her, as well as saying to her that I'm not what she thinks I am, but she's lived with, I've lived with her most of my life, all my life, she knows exactly who I am, and he then berates her on Facebook until he's then arrested and fully charged with his pedophilic crimes. He's been in jail since. I've been out since. They finally, Hilbert College dropped all charges because they couldn't get him into court. And to this day, the DA's probably still livid about that, but I don't care. But I thought you guys should know the situation no, the full situation, not what the media has told you. The media portrayed me as a bad person. Um, I don't know about you guys, but all I really want to do is just continue surviving. I don't want to hurt other people. So, yeah. Um, seriously though, um, check the link in the description, and you can get some viable information on the key witness that they were trying to use to, um have me put in jail for the rest of my natural life. So, yeah. Cool, now to go and edit this.